This is Katherine from Viva Katherine. I'm here today at the Fairleigh Dickinson campus in Madison, New Jersey. There are hundreds of people out here walking today for the March of Dimes, March for Babies event. Join me and the Real Housewives of New Jersey as we cover the march. During season one of Real Housewives, <laughs> you share the challenges during your pregnancies. How did March of Dimes help you during these trying times? Well, because of the March of Dimes research, uh, the funding that they did for the research, um, the doctor was able to um, put me on a um, simple baby aspirin that I took once a day up into you know the time I got pregnant, three months after I got pregnant, and the moment I conceived, they put me on a um, progesterone cream that um, allowed me to maintain my pregnancy. And I didn't know at the time, but March of Dimes was part of the funding for the research. They really provide um, education to, for healthcare to provide for their patients. And what it, the one thing I love about March of Dimes is it starts at the very beginning. It starts with education on how to help a healthy pregnancy, which I didn't know when I got pregnant at 20 years old. I was living on crab legs and Wendy's Frosties and, you know, March of Dimes, they really educate women on how to have healthy pregnancies. And, you know, and, and with their mission, you know, they're hoping one day you'll find out why you know, people are, are having preterm births and, you know, trying to prevent that from happening. With, with the losses, I had five losses and um, I took that very hard. So I, I, can, I feel like I re relate a fraction to what a lot of these families go through. I can't imagine giving birth and, you know, watching your baby being sick. You know, when you go visit the NICUs and you see these little babies um, hooked up to tubes and monitors, it's really heartbreaking. And, you know, I just, I want to know why this is happening to women and their babies. And, you know, I just want everyone to have full-term pregnancies and healthy, strong babies that they can bring home with them and they don't have to leave them in the hospital, you know, everybody should be able to bring their baby home. You know, people, you know, try really hard to get pregnant and I just feel that, you know, we need to do, know, be educated on how to have healthy, strong pregnancies, to have healthy, strong babies and, and everybody should be able to have their, their baby that they're dreaming of and be able to bring it home with them. What is the most important thing about March of Dimes that viewers should know? Um, you know, a lot of charities, um, you don't know how much actually goes to the research and the funding for, um, I believe they're over 77 point, sub, almost 78% of everything goes directly to the research and the education and the funding to, to find um, ways to help women have healthy pregnancies and healthy strong babies that they can bring home with them from the hospital and um, you know I just I feel it's very important for all women to be educated on how to have healthy pregnancies. So what was your reaction when you first learned about the miscarriages that Jacqueline had to deal with? Well it's always difficult especially when it's a family member going through this but then I myself had three miscarriages so you know there's a light at the end of the tunnel you just have to keep hoping and keep trying and have faith. And what one thing would you tell viewers about why they should donate or volunteer for the March of Dimes? It's so good. It's about life. It's about hope. It's about happy endings. You guys have a lot of support. You have a lot of people. This is great. It really it was, great was incredible. There's a the lot of people here. The weather was great. The kids are having fun. I mean, it's really, it's my first time with the March of Dimes, but I mean, definitely keep supporting. So who are you walking for today? Verizon Wireless. What inspired you to start walking? for March of Dimes? Um, well, it was, it was a good cause. It's March of Dimes for babies, so, you know, um, there's always babies born every day that, that need help, medical help and stuff, so we wanted to support this as a company. Great, Great. that's Great exciting. Very good so are you, like, ready to cross the start oh, line? Yes. We're ready to go. <laughs> We're ready to go. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. We're ready to go, ready to go. and it's a gorgeous day. It is. It really is. Really Beautiful. Is. Yes. Yes. Who's hiding? It was really very early. She was uh, seven weeks preemie, three pounds, five ounces, uh, collapsed lung, and that's why we walk. We they just March of Dimes gives so much to the NICUs around the country for the research. We walk for our son Joseph. He was born um, at 27 weeks. Okay. 
and um, we actually had some complications with Macy too. Macy we went into labor with Macy at 20, 29 weeks. So she ended up being full term um, after bed rest and a cerclage and progesterone shots. But um, this guy came at two pounds seven ounces and was in the NICU for about three months and then came home with us when he was about four pounds seven ounces three months later. So that's why we're here. We walked every year since, he's, since his birth. So you just finished! Woo! How does it feel? My endorphins are released! I'm like, I, just being outside and all this positive energy, it just puts me in the best mood. It makes me so happy. It feels great. Such a beautiful morning after you, such a great campus, and March of Dimes is such a great organization, so have to be here. Thank you for joining us for the March for Babies Walk today. To learn more about giving to the March of Dimes, please visit www.vivecaterine.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.